Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with James. I am your host James. Today, another simple and delicious cook. We are going to be doing a pot roast or chuck roast with potatoes and veggies in the new Ninja Speedy. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is what we got. I'm a 3.21 chuck roast, normally $25, got it for 12 and change. So um, beef is expensive right now. So, you know, try to find a good deal. They have this like every week or two deals. On this. So anyway, just wanted to show you what I got. I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna season it up. All right, so we got our uh, chuck roast or pot roast out. And really simple, all we're gonna do is go in with some Montreal steak. Now you can use some cracked black pepper, some salt, or whatever you like. Use the combination of whatever it is that floats your boat that tastes good to you, but this is what we're going to do. Now, after this, um, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for about 5-10 minutes and let it sweat a little bit. Then I'm just going to flip it over, season the sides and the other side, and we're going to go ahead and cut these veggies up. Alright, so this is what we got. So I've got five potatoes. Now you can add more potatoes, but five is fine. Four stalks of celery and some baby carrots. You can add more of any of these ingredients to fill the pot. But all we're going to do is go ahead and uh, with the potatoes, just third them. And you can, if you want to take the skins off, go ahead. I prefer to leave the skins on. I like it like that. So we're going to cut all our potatoes in chunks like that. So I'll finish those. I'm not going to do anything to the carrots. They're baby carrots. They're good. Perfect size. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our celery. I'm going to cut the white part off of the back here. Scoot that to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and just cut, you know, cut it up to whatever size you want. Um, two, three inches, whatever. Get all those in there. Oh, it's going to be delicious. All right, so that is how easy the prep is. The meat is seasoned, everything's good to go. Um, I'll show you what the next step is. We're actually gonna go to the Ninja, throw the stuff in, see you in a minute. All right, so here we are at the Ninja Speedy. So what we're gonna do is, you can turn it on first if you want, and then we're gonna make sure, right now we're in air fryer, we wanna make sure to go over to the rapid cook side of this knob over here, and we'll switch the adjustments here in a minute. But the first thing we're gonna do is, we're not gonna use any crisper tray, just the actual, uh, roasting pan itself nothing else and then we've got the uh, oh man this roast looks good all seasoned up all sides everything is good so we're gonna put that in there next we're gonna go in with some beef stock now this thing is 32 ounces I believe yep 32 ounces and we're gonna dump that whole thing in there so we're gonna get all 32 ounces of this beef stock in there so we got all that and it almost fills up um, probably three quarters or more of the roast. So 32 ounces of that then, real simple. Got our veggies and everything here. Potatoes, just dump them in as they go. Anywhere they can fit, get them in there. Some are gonna be in the juice, some not, no big deal. Then we're gonna go ahead and close the top here. It's already on, we're on the side we need to be, which is rapid cook. We're gonna use this to go down to steam and bake and then as far as the temperature we are going to go for 350 now we're going to set the time for an hour but it's not one hour and it's done there's actually one thing we're going to do in between so anyway we're going to go ahead and start this let's take a couple minutes to kind of preheat but then we'll see you in probably about 30 minutes all right guys we are coming up on 15 minutes three two one zero we're gonna go ahead and open this top. Give you a quick look and see. Ooh, a little steam. I don't know how close I can get in there, but uh, potatoes are looking perfect. Everything is looking good. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get you a fork, a big fork. It is hot in there. And we're gonna kick these potatoes around a little bit. But what we're ultimately gonna do is go in there, grab that roast, and bring it up top. So just like this. Bring it up top so you got everything else sitting on the bottom. Uh, just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do, go ahead and close this top, and let it cook. We will see you in a minute. All right guys, so we're coming down to the 30 minute mark, to one, 30 minutes in. And that thing is looking gorgeous. Everything is looking amazing. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and, um, oh, these potatoes are, Perfect. Go ahead and grab the roast. All right, with the fork here, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. 
and get it back in there just like that. So we just flipped it, 30 minute mark. And you know what's coming next. We're gonna go ahead and drop this top. We'll see you in a minute. All right guys, we are coming up on the 50 minute mark. So 10 minutes left, three, two, one, zero. We are gonna take a quick look and oh my goodness. Get you in there real quick. That thing looks amazing, yeah. Now, what we're gonna wanna do, uh, we're gonna temp it. Okay. Now you want this thing really to be between 190 and 200 if you want it really tender. And uh, oh, that's butter. That's got to be up there. At 193, 199, 202. That looks super soft over here. Oh yeah, I'm just feeling for tenderness. This thing is perfectly cooked. So here's an option. Okay, for you guys. You can. This is ready to go. You can pull it out, get it on the cutting board, let it set 10, 15 minutes, cut into it. What I like to do is, I, I'm not going to cook it anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close the top and I'm going to turn it off. And I like to just let it stew in its juices for about 30 minutes or so. That's optional. You don't need to. It's ready to go. But I'm going to do that. And then uh, next, we'll see you on the cutting board. We'll cook it up, make a plate, try it out. See you in a minute. All right, guys, this is what we ended up with. Look, there's a lot more potatoes, carrots, and celery and everything in the pot over here, but I'm just putting this on here so you can kind of check it out and see what's going on. Um, yeah, look, 50, 50 minutes done. You're looking at a crock pot, four, six, eight, maybe more hours to get this thing done. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut into it. I want this little piece over here just to kind of see. Oh yeah, and it's still hot. Oh yeah. Ooh. perfectly cooked, steaming hot still, and it is good. And we got it to the temperature that we needed to. Um, mm, tender, very. Potatoes, perfect. Not crumbling, nothing. Mm. Carrots, perfect. Celery, perfect. Mm. This is a great fast meal. Look at this. Amazing. So I'm going to take it back up top. I've got a couple things to say. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we are finished with the cook. And that's amazing. You know, if you're looking at a crock pot, you're looking at, you know, bare minimum four hours, but more like six to eight hours to get it nice and juicy and tender. Um, 50 minutes, uh, potatoes perfect, carrots, everything done great. And as a matter of fact, I probably would have let it just sit in the ninja for well it'll just stay warm for hours but um anyway so that's how you do that now if you're new to the channel please think about subscribing if you like the content make sure to hit that bell for notifications because i'm going to be doing a lot more cooks on the ninja speedy make sure to give a thumbs up drop an awesome comment and with that being said we will catch you on the next cook thanks for watching